What's got the hype machine buzzing this week? Game here in the fourth quarter so far. We don't want to keep harping on about Damian Lillard, but he keeps doing stuff like this. From outside, there's the three. Blazers get the tip. Five seconds left. Covington trying to get it to Dame. He puts it on the floor. Step back three from Dame. Yep, two threes in the final 8.1 seconds against the Bulls to steal the dub. Not to be outdone by Dame Dollop, Bradley Beal and Westbrook came up with crazy quick-fire back-to-back threes of their own to beat the Nets and give the Wizards their third win of the season. Here's Westbrook for three! He hits it! Even with Bradley Beal leading the league, averaging 35 points a game, Washington still only have three wins. The Wizards and the Warriors need to talk about a trade. Nice wraparound pass! Right now, the Jazz are second in the West, ahead of the LA Lakers thanks to an 11-game Utah win streak. Mike Conley is over his hamstring injury and finally looking like his old self. Great spin move by Conley. With the right blend of vets and young talent surrounding Donovan Mitchell, the Jazz are looking like a contender. Kick out. Oh, my. Conley just got it away. The Illawarra Hawks are off to a flying start with an unbeaten record of four wins in four games. Great pass. Next star rookie Justinian Jessup has looked sensational. Oh. Jessup picks okay. it off transition, pulls up with a step back. Ooh. Oh, it drops it again. The Golden State Warriors like what they see too. They drafted the shooting guard out of Boise State with the 51st pick in the 2020 NBA draft. Step back three is good. Oh my goodness. We want to make the most of this six foot seven sniper lighting up the scoreboard. Catch all the NBL action on ESPN on KO. I'm out the cage, gotta let out the beast. Revolutionary guy, let out the streets. Locked in a cage, I'm a let out the let out the let out the let out the Giannis Atatakumpo is a generational superstar. He's so good that teams drafted his brothers, hoping the Atatakumpo bros metamorphosize into Giannis. Or could there be something else behind these deals? Giannis's 28-year-old brother Thanasis is a six-foot-six forward. He was drafted by the Knicks in 2014, played two games and averaged three points. Now in his second season, he plays with Giannis for the Bucks, who signed him to a two-year, $3.15 million contract. He is averaging 2.7 points and two rebounds. Did his deal help convince Giannis to sign the five-year $228 million Supermax? His brother Costas Atatakumpo is averaging one point and one rebound per game. Starting out on the Mavs in 2018 and now with the Lakers for two seasons, he's probably not the Atatakumpo either team was hoping to sign. Would LA or Dallas have signed Costas knowing Giannis was going to sign the Supermax with Milwaukee? Or was it a way of winning over the two-time reigning MVP and Defensive Player of the Year, Giannis? It's clear Giannis's reach extends far beyond his 7'3 wingspan. Stop that. The Philadelphia 76ers have the best record in the Eastern Conference, 14-6. And, and a big part of that is Joel Embiid playing the best ball of his career. Joel is unleashed. Another important factor is Tobias Harris. The moment the 76ers announced they were signing Doc Rivers as their new head coach, one of the big questions we asked on the show was, will Doc be able to turn Tobias Harris into the all-star he was when he was playing for the Clippers? Well, Harris is having his best season ever. As of right now, he's averaging close to 20 points, 7 rebounds, shooting a career-best 47% from three. drive, pull-up jumper, it's good! Tobias Harris sinks it with 2.4 remaining. Doc Rivers really is the Harris whisperer. Catch all the basketball action on ESPN on KO. Thanks for watching. Remember to like, subscribe, share, keep balling. This is the Weekly Jam.